What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do issue number two of St. Julian's Queen of the Lost World, covered by St. Julian. Um, I really like it. Um, I'm a sucker for, uh, for all, you know, 70s painted art, I believe. Um, it's from Opus Comics, you know, I have a little bit of love, hate relationship with them because they have great properties, but mostly they cannot quote unquote capitalize on the stories, right? Um, but I must say, for now, I'm liking this series. Uh, so we're going to dive in. Uh, if you checked out my last review of Queens of the Lost Worlds, I mean, with, with this issue number one, um, you can also subscribe to my channel on the YouTube Jazz if you like. Uh, there was a woman called Becca. She was sent on a mission uh, by the Dragon Queen, you know. Uh, for, well, reasons. Uh, but before we go more into that, um, we go to, I believe, Egypt. And I believe this is Sorcerer o a Seer. And she's seeing that death is coming, right? Um, and the Egyptian queen says, hey, but what is it? What is this death? Is it a war? Is it a plague? Um, but, you know, she says, I can only, I can only see what, is, what I am shown. Death, destruction, and terror drag. Will four now Tra Terra Drag is I believe a the Dragon Kingdom, and I believe this Egyptian city is part of that. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it's a little bit vague. So I hope we get more information uh, later on. So, so it seems that um, I believe Becca or maybe another one is entering the city of Kemet, right? Those born rule here clean divine lineage, their wealth, a blessing from their gods. Some would say that prosperity was paid with the lives of slaves, but you would not say it loudly. Here the widow queen, Nitocris, Nitocris, reigns her beloved brother husband murdered. His assassins did not escape. It was not Anubis who weighed, her heart, weighed their hearts. The queen herself held them as they beat their last. Um... Anyway, so Kemet gates are open to all. But whoever brings the business to the walled city must ab abide by its rules or suffer the consequences. Okay, I can, I, can, I can see that, right? So we go a little bit back and forth to the Dragon Queen Queendom, yeah, so probably, and uh, the city of cats, you know, like Egypt and Anubis and all that stuff. Um... And the Dragon Queen is wondering what's in the scrolls. I mean, did you read the scrolls right? Are they true? So it seems that also the overseer or the seer or the grand vizier, that's the word, um, has also looked into his, I don't know, mumbo, mojo, 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 bloop, that, that, you know, and saw that death is coming, right? Um, but there is also something that's going on with the mother of dragons and not this mother i mean she's the queen but there is a big giant dragon in here right and um and there's something wrong with it right it suffers so she gets some kind of an i don't know attack and then we see the walls crumbling and, it's, and the the dragon is restless and she says i must go to her okay cool and then we go back to um i don't know egypt i guess and she's taking a bath and um and uh, so the other ones, hey, um, I prepared scented oils, Majesty, Majesty, to relax your highness. How can I relax when some unknown cataclysm looms upon the horizon? We cannot know the will of the gods, mistress, but we, haven't, we have burned the offerings. We have been devout. You are safe, Majesty. None would dare speak a syllable against you. You must not worry. Do not mistake me for some trembling maiden. I am not scared. I'm furious. I must know what it is which sets all this emotion. Perhaps if you were sent a message to the Dragon Queen. Saying what? That the terror drag will fall? Can you not see that such message could be taken for a threat? So, I guess that or this uh, Egyptian city is part of the Dragon City uh, Kingdom or they are two different kingdoms but they are in peace with each other, living together with each other, you know, have a, a contract, an agreement... You know, um, 
I scratch my back, uh, you scratch mine, something like that. So Becca here is searching for something. Now, why that, is, I mean, she's been sent here, I guess, by the Dragon Queen to look for something. But if these two kingdoms are in harmony with each other, why is she sent on a mission to steal something from this Egyptian queen? That's a little bit unclear. All right. So um, she said, but my queen, if we can warn her, perhaps she knows something of, of it already. Or perhaps a vague missive from me, babbling of bad omens might begin it all. Do you not see that message could be the seed from which disaster grows? No, I cannot act until I know more. Until you tell me more. All right. Um, anyway, so, okay, so they are not doing anything. So they are just waiting for more signs, I guess. Uh, meanwhile, we have something weird going on in the castle of the Dan. So this witch queen, I guess, is summoning demons. And it looks pretty cool, I guess. It's all weird and twisted. I mean, I turn it around to see if this body is actually... But she's doing crazy stuff. And I love the visuals. Uh, luckily, it's not also not overblown with um, Photoshop guy, right? So it's pretty muted. I like that because you can clearly see what's going on and it's a pretty clean art. So I like that. Now look at this. She's doing this weird stuff and smoke coming from her mouth and right now some cloud hovering over the castle. Pretty nifty. Um, so the queen of the... Yeah, so the dragon queen is trying to, uh, you know, appease to the dragon mother. She's restless. She's angry. She snaps at her, and then she's using her, I don't know, the power of friendship, I guess, to, uh, you know, to still the heart of this creature. Be calm, be safe. And she's also crying. All right, cool. Uh, but it seems that they are doing the same thing in Egypt, right, in, in Temet. So they are offering uh, goats to this living creature, I believe, name of Ati and Anu. So, my knowledge about Egyptian gods is limited. I know Anubis. I know a, a, a couple of other Egyptian gods. But that's about it. I have seen this creature before. I do not know its name. Uh, maybe it's just a new character. I don't, don't know. But I've seen stuff like this before. I just cannot put my finger on it. Anyway, so Becca comes here. And the, the thing that she's just wanted to steal is gone. And it looks like something of a dragon. Now, if this is what I think it is, some kind of a... Well, I know what it is because I read the comic. Um, I, I, wait a minute, I'm going to show you a little bit later. So, okay, so this creature is digging into this um, offer. But then, oh no, the offer has been dismissed. And... Um, so, well, the Highness is getting massages from their slave. Um, this, this woman says, Death, it's begun. The offering was made as usual, but it did not appease. Such screams, they were dead before even we reached the dragon chamber. Wait a minute, dragon chamber? I mean, this is Egypt. So, does that mean... Uh, this is all guessing what I'm saying. Why is there a dragon chamber in Egypt? Because... Egypt has nothing with dragons, right? Because that's not part of their culture. even Not even a part of the mythology. Um, so, anyway, she says, I visited chambers mere hours ago and all is well. It was terrible. We're there to torn to shreds. The entrance do not lie, Highness. And there's worse still. The dragon stone uh -huh, is gone, stolen from under our very noses. Terror drag will fall in Egypt with it. So why, again, more questions. Why has, a, has Egypt have a dragon stone in their, in their chamber somewhere? What is this use? Is this more like, I don't know what it is. I mean, I find it strange. So does that mean there's some kind of a peace offering from the dragon queen to the Egypt? Like, oh, you have something for me. I have something from you. You know, for peacekeeping. You know, this is, I, I'm just guessing. I don't know. 
Um, so that's probably my biggest gripe of this comic that it's not really well explained, but you know, maybe it will get explained later, I hope. Anyway, so um, people are um, restless. They are looking for this dragon stone in this Egyptian city. Um, well, in Terra Drac, people are restless because trembling and earth is shaking and people want answers. So the Grand Vizier says, hey, there's nothing wrong. You need to go back to your homes. But, you know, people don't want them. And he says, hey, listen, there is uh, a lot of stuff going on. My daughter is, is being attacked. Uh, she's gone. She's missing. And there's some kind of a big stone crashing into a house. We want answers, right? So, but the Dragon Queen, good queen as she is, she says, well, I'm going to look into these scrolls myself to look for answers. What's going on? Um, well, the Grand Vizier says, hey, it's all a mistake. It's nothing wrong. Nothing to see here. Go home, right? And uh, and he also says, hey, uh, do not speak of omens and end times and other such nonsense. All is well, all is safe. Should anything be otherwise, your queen and I will tell you to your uh, you, our people. We have nothing to hide. This is terror drag. We have no secrets here. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I should say different. Um, meanwhile, um, we see Becca. I mean, I believe she is the one that Oh, no, no, she just got away because she couldn't find the dragon stone, right? So she's paying this woman, um, you know, feeding her steed, I guess. And then she says, hey, did someone else is coming through here lately, maybe? And the uh, woman says, I don't know. And so she gives some more coin. Well, oh, yeah, now I remember. Um, um, the person go, did go that way. Um, but she doesn't know who, he, who she was. And... Uh, Wait a minute, am I forgetting something? No, not really. Oh yeah, so this this woman here. Yeah, now who is this woman? This woman was the one from the last issue. Um, and she's being recruited by the monster queen, right? This, this one. So there is the good side and clearly the bad side. The good side has messengers. Uh, sl no, what, slaves is probably not a word. Um, hires um you know i pay money and i, I hire somebody uh, to do my job to do my bidding and this creature hired or you know um has hired this woman you know what i mean right i'm <laughs> stumbling over my words and she's summoning um the scorpion queen and the scorpion queen is very mad at this 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 witch demon queen and he says, which I am become forgotten, neglected. Fewer and fewer of my subjects come in my obedience. And he says, Scorpion Queen, ruler of the Nenemos, fear not. They all are here and remain loyal to you as per our bargain. So the other ones say, hey, I'm here. I'm pledging my loyalty to you. And she says, hmm, fine. All will return to my realm soon enough, for you have no hope of containing so many. We shall see. We shall see. And then, I don't know, so the other woman comes in, right? And he says, hey, um, I got something for you. So very decadent, that one. No self-control. Now, my brave warrior, have you done me proud? I did, my, I did my job, my queen. I'm yours to command. You are so sweet, aren't you? So respectful. And yes, you have done so very well. So she's opening the bag. So I assume this is maybe the dragon's Stone, but we don't see it. And also it comes light emanating from it um, or glow. Um, I do not know the significance of the stone, but it should be pretty important, right? Now, the Becca has tried to, I don't know, follow her somehow because she's a tracker, right? Um, but then she's getting attacked by a golem or golem, right? But um, she knows that golem are be being activated, if you can, by some kind of a object i know a little bit the lore is maybe some personal artifact has been put inside of the 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 golem right and then through mojo and mumbo jumbo and and spooky spooky the it's you know being resurrected or alive and do other ones biddings so she removes that particular piece and uh, now the golem is uh inactive but 
it has something in its hands and it's a fairy? And that leads us to the next issue. All right, so this is issue number two. Is this good? Well, I like, I like what's... Um, okay, let's start with the negative. I have a lot of questions, right? I don't know what's, what's going on. It's not really being well explained. Um, and we get only more and more answers, right? So what is the dragon stone? What is the, the, the relationship between the dragon queen and the queen of Nemeth? Right. So and, and we have then the demon queen, you know, who wants something that now got something, but we still don't know why and what, etc., etc. Maybe it's just a very simple story about good and evil. You know, maybe you want to take over the dragon realm or something, you know, stuff like that could be could be cool. I don't know. Um, on the other hand, um, I hope in issue three, it gives me a little bit more answers. Also, there's not really much action in here, basically none. Uh, which is not really a bad thing, but it has to be balanced by uh, storytelling that keeps me engaged, which it does, right? So I'm not really against this, but I probably a um, storytelling-esque episode is better in issue three or four instead of the follow-up issue of number, you know, issue number two, right? Because I think we need attract a little bit more attention to the readers and this could pull put people off maybe and maybe not i'm not sure i don't mind because the story is for me interesting enough to get me issue number three the art is good i think uh nice colors too as well a little bit too much on the brown side when you know it, um it's it's just you know a little bit more to, a little bit flat for me but on the other side um, I'm enjoying it so far. So, good job, Opus, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So, covers here um, by Ariel Elovetti and San Julian. So, this is the other cover, which is nice too, but I want to have the original artist, which is this one, San Julian's covers, because I like that very much. We have also in a um, Nintendo system cover, which makes me chuckle. Um then we have um, uh, Linsner's art, and then we have more ads, more covers, and Mothman, um, which I still don't have. Anyway, so guys, let me know what you think about this. Is this something that you might be interested in? Is this enough for you? Do you want more action? I'm going to buy issue number three to see where this is going. If it's, you know, more stuff like this, I might check out. It's not, I mean, like I said, it's not bad comic, but... Um, I hope it gets a little bit better, but it's too soon to tell. So far, so good. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I see you next time. Bye-bye.